I'll wash my hands. I'm so itchy. Please help me. Could you state your name and age for me, please? My name is Charlie Snow. I'm six years old. He was born on May 5th, 2016. Everything matches. Please state your full name and your relation to the child. We are James and Judith Smith. We are Charlie's aunt and uncle. Thank you. I need to verify your signed consent. Thank you. He is breathing at 13 breaths per minute. The chest is moving equally. This is a pulse oximeter, which monitors the oxygen level in your blood. It fits snugly around your finger, but should not hurt. Fine. I'm attaching this blood pressure cuff so we can monitor your blood pressure continuously. Okay. I need to measure your temperature. Please try not to move for a moment. Okay. The temperature is 98 I'm going to check your skin for any bruises, rashes, signs of dehydration, or other problems. Fine. There is normal elasticity of the skin. There is an urticarial macular rash on the torso and upper arms. His color is normal and he is not sweating. I'm going to show you a pain scale. Please point to the face that best describes your pain. Sure. The child answered zero on the face's pain scale with a range of zero to ten. I'm going to call your provider. Okay. I have explained the situation to the provider, and she has entered some new orders in the medical record in order to treat the urticaria. Does he have any known allergies? Yes, he is allergic to peanuts, perfumes, and dyes. I'm going to attach heart monitor pads to your chest so we can monitor your heart rate and rhythm. Twelve point five milligrams of diphenhydramine has been given. We will help you and give you medication to ease the itching. Fine. We are treating the allergic skin reaction. 
please note that the itching might lead to skin lesions and subsequent bacterial infections. You should contact us if this occurs. Also in the future, if Charlie has troubled breathing, gets dizzy and pale, or passes out, you should use the EpiPen and call the EMS immediately. Later, we will provide you with detailed information on how to minimize exposure of dyes okay. and detergents in the future. 